So now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a new food page. So first of all, we need to create one table. So here I am going to create new table. Table name is food and we need nine field. So we have right now four field here and more five. Okay. So now we are going to take your ID and then food name and then we need food category and then we need food description food original price and then we need here food discount price food availability and then food veg non veg and food ingredients so we need this field here we are going to take length 5 then primary key and we need to give auto increment and all other fields are where here now here i am going to take 50 50 and then 500 5 50 10 and here we need 1000 now we are going to save this table okay so now we have this table name is food now we are going to create your new page so here inside the admin folder i already opened this project now inside this we are going to create new page page name is Add new pod so now we have this page now you can see this is the view one page page name is food ingredients I am going to copy all the code and here I am going to paste all the code inside the add new food page now we have to add menu also so menu now we need drop down menu so I am going to show you how we can create the drop down menu so first of all this is our folder inside the admin we have that some designing page are also there like i am going to open this and here we have this menu so here i am going to take this menu this drop down menu so how we can use that that i am going to show you here yeah so we have this menu form menu i am going to copy this then here we have the header.php in header.php after this li after this added in ingredients i am going to paste here then here food add new food then display food and now inside this link We have to give our link add new food so this is done here link now i'm going to close this close this page and now we are we have this menu when we click on this we have this page now we are going to modify this page because we already copy this page so now we have to modify so first of all in uh, this add new food we don't need display area inside this so this is our display area that i'm going to delete now we are going to check you see display area is gone now we have to modify the heading so here add new food i am going to just copy this and paste here yeah this fine now we have to start to add our fill over here so here first field is food name so here I am going to take food name here I am going to give name id food name here also food name and we have to give heading so enter food name let's check here 
yeah we got this now the second one is food category so let me copy this yeah i am going to paste here for food category we need to take drop down so we are going to remove this and here we are going to take select and option here in select we have to give name food category then we need to give class name we have to give class name form control sorry form control yeah and here i am going to write simple a now we are going to check here yeah we got drop down but we need to make this dynamic right now this is the static so we have to load it from our table and here we are going to change our heading also we have to load this from this food category table from this table so we have to write here select query let's start from four categories then order by two categories ascending now we are going to move your while loop while dollar is equal to my sql i fetch area then dollar res because we have to load data from our table that's why now eco option okay now eco slash option and then here we have to write our column name equal dollar row and our column name is food categories paste now we can see here here we see whatever food categories we added we can see here now next one is food description okay so for food description i am going to just copy this we are going to paste here yeah food description and we need text area for it so i am going to remove this and here we are going to take text area name food description and class home control let's see yeah so we have food description here then we have to type food original price and food discount price so again we can copy this because we need to take text words that's why we are going to copy it and now we are paste paste we have take food original price so here food original price here we have to give food original price whatever you are going to pass in id that same thing you can pass on name also now here put discount price that we can paste here put discount price so now we have put original price and put discount price here we have to change our placeholder yeah put discount price then the next column is food availability and food veg non veg and food ingredients so we are going to take food availability so 
so here for yeah. now we are going to take drop down select option yes and then option no now we are going to write your name code availability and then we need to give class home control now we are going to copy this and we are going to paste here and now our next column is food veg non veg so here we are going to give heading food veg non veg and here we have to give our select name also food underscore veg underscore non veg Yeah, we are genon wedge. Here we are going to check. Yeah, now our last column is food ingredients. So for that, we have to add multiple chatbots over there. So I am going to take this only that division and slash div. Okay. Now inside this, we have to make the loop. So $res is equal to select star from, we have to load our food ingredients from this table. So I'm going to just copy the name See the star from food ingredients. Order by food ingredients ascending. Then we need to move the loop. So while dollar row is equal to MySQL of page array, then dollar res. Okay, so up to here it is fine. Now I am going to just run. We are going to check only that we are getting any error or not. Yeah, so there is no error. So up to here everything is fine now here we need to take one div so i'm going to take one div div class call lg4 it means in one line we are getting three chatbots so here i am going to take chatbots import type chatbots then we are going to give name we need to take the array of this so ingredients and we have to give the square bracket ingredients then we are going to give value in inside the value we have to take equal dollar row our column name put ingredients yeah and then we have to display the heading so for heading purpose we are going to take our food ingredients so i'm going to just copy this and we are going to paste here for heading purpose so now let's see you see we are getting here whatever data we added inside the food ingredients that food ingredients we can see here now we need space between chatbots and heading so we can do here end person and bsp okay so up to here fine now we have to perform our insert query so we have already this alert and etc so we are going to just first change the heading yeah. and now i am going to cut this heading and we are going to add this heading here in top before the form tag because we can see the message on top then it looks good that's why now here we are going to start the coding so first of all we have to check 
code is already added or not so we are going to change the code in our ready made so we don't need to uh, write code again and again that's why and here we are going to check our food name from food table we are going to change food name so we are going to check the food is already added or not then if not added then we have to perform insert query so we have already uh, here insert query food then values and how many parameters that we have to check totally we have nine parameter first one is id so this is the null then here eight parameters more so one already two then three then four then five then six then seven then eight okay now we are going to pass here do underscore post just copy this paste paste so it will be easier you have to uh, use this way okay now here our column name is food name because uh, we use the same name in our text box whatever we use here so this will be easier now i am going to copy this food category yeah and i am going to copy this food description then copy this you see this will be very easier because we use the same name as our column name in our text box food availability then food veg non veg yeah the last one we have to change because here we have to write some more code because when you are going to tick these things whatever you tick we have to bind with comma and then we have to save so for that we have to write some code so first of all i am going to declare one variable then we are going to move loop for each loop now you have to change the ingredient okay this is the in oh sorry copy these ingredients don't just post ingredients as i am going to take one variable and then we have to bind here so i am going to take here one variable dollar count is equal to zero dollar count is equal to dollar count plus one then if dollar count is equal to is equal to one then else because when loop move first time whatever parameter you uh, take uh, you select uh, three values from here like this one this one this one three one it means this will move three times so when it moves first time we have to take only the value then second time third time and rest of all time we have to take this way ingredients dot we have to bind this way so now we have comma separated value inside these ingredients and we have to write okay let's check now pani tikka masala punjabi this is punjabi PUBG 100 discount price 90 ability yes wage here I am going to take this 3 and save yeah so we are not getting any error now we are going to check here we got all the values or not yeah we are getting all the values and here you see we are getting values with comma also whatever is selected so this way we can perform a new food page in next video i am going to show you how we can display this put and then later on edit and delete thank you so much if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much